shopping haul of the new house. I'm hoping you guys can hear me because the kids are running around screaming loud. So I'm gonna fly through this and um, yeah, here we go. So he picked up this big bag of trash bags, um, a 24 pack of Sunny D, some Kool-Aid jammers. Then we got the two packs of these uh, Tyson chicken breast strips. Our um, store was running low on their meat, so this is what they had available. And some steak. An eight pack, eight boxes of this Velveeta shells and cheese. This is the best. 600 plastic spoons, some disposable plates and cups because holidays are coming up. And yeah, two bunches of bananas, two five pound things of this ground beef chuck, some chicken breast, a pack of light bulbs, five pack of deodorant. Uh, Swiffer dry and wet jet because your girl has hard floors now. I'm so excited. And he also picked up this um, microfiber flip mop. We'll see how that works. I've never tried that one. A 600 pack of the disposable plastic forks. Um, Swiffer heavy duty pet wet mopping cloths. Y'all know I love my power wash. They didn't have the fresh apples, so we got the just a fresh scent. Um, some bubble bath for the kids and some spring water body wash and then last we got 35 cans of sprite 24 pack of mountain dew 24 pack of dr pepper two 24 packs of coca cola because we are unpacking and easy food is the way to go i believe that i'm going to be working in the boys room today getting it unpacked this is what i have to start with So, I got my work cut out for me. Let's do this. Um, that needs to do it because I'm going to turn the bed to fit it right here so it has a lot more space. That's what I was going to do. Alright. We'll leave those then. It's funny, you and I had to say my ideas for once. I am so, so, so grateful that my sister came over to help me because there is no way on earth I could have done this by myself. Just moving on um, Sunday, today's Monday that I'm recording this, um, my back hurts so bad just from moving. So thanks again, sis, for coming over and helping me out. So just stay for a little Maybe, yeah, this will still have to go that way. Otherwise, you can stand it up in the corner. I thought about standing it up. No, no, no. The way you make me feel at night when I am. Okay, let's just stand it up. Stand it up. Otherwise, I'm not going to. Which way are you pushing? That's what I'm going to do. Work with me, Jesse. Costumes. These 
you just hang up in their closet and blind with it. Because they don't have as much clothes as they used to, you can hang all of the costumes in that closet. Rip that. Rip that down. But for now, definitely hang it in the closet. And this box. Okay, so if I get the toys out, I guess I can just set them on the shelf. For now, I'm going to get the book situated. You got me feeling kind of crazy You got me feeling like my head is spinning around The way you look is so amazing, amazing I could stare into your eyes for hours and hours Everything is kind of... We decided to move the bed upstairs yeah. And this is going to be the playroom You make me wanna fly, I'm not coming down Maybe it's the way you move, babe, move, babe You've got that body and that smile Make my head spin round I'll hold you close to me You're all I want Y'all, I don't know why we have so many hangers And I don't know why I didn't just go ahead and declutter them but for now, she's just going to hang those in the closet because we do not have that many clothes to hang up. I think the boys have maybe six shirts a piece that actually have to hang. So that's just a crazy amount of hangers. Do you have a lot of hangers too or have you decluttered yours and just have what you need? Just FYI, this is a weighted blanket. That's why it looks like I'm struggling with it because it's like 12 pounds and I'm a weakling. But anyway, I found this little sign in the box. It says gamers only, no entrance or something like that. And I thought, where in the world has this been? My son would love this. And there's a sticker stuck to it. So I'm going to rip the sticker off and give it to him to hang in his room. Just as a side note, um, the way you're seeing the room set up now is probably not going to be the way it ends up as. I just need to get things unpacked, you know, and make some sort of sense in the room they're in. And then later on go through and fix it like I really want it. Chasing 
So this is not going to be the final project for today. I've got there. I'm going to be putting um, some books and stuff on here in a minute. And I've got his little car mat and car toys, figurines in that bucket, stuffed animals in this little, I can't point, Batman plush thing. And that's their clothes I need to put away. Got to get their fall stuff out because it's cold. We actually have a um, freeze morning tonight. I look awful <laughs> moving. I have an excuse. Um, and this box I need to unpack. It's their costumes and I'm gonna hang them up over here unless I think of something else because they really don't have that many clothes. So this is enough closet space for both boys. And their beds are gonna be upstairs. They both told me they're not gonna sleep down here. So I was like, why do I want two beds in here or even one bed if they're not gonna sleep in here? So anyway, I'm gonna start uh, getting the books and put them in here now. While I'm putting the books away, I figure I could give you guys a little update how we're doing in the new place. Um, as I'm recording this voiceover, we've been here five days and I absolutely love it. It's a lot quieter out here. So the boys sleep in a little later. They go to bed earlier because they have a huge yard to run around and play in. Um, they drive me insane all day because they run in and out. They go up and down the basement stairs through the garage and they just run around screaming, playing tag. But it's better than being cooped up uh, where we used to live where they couldn't go outside all the time. So I'm very grateful to God for giving us this new home. And let's see what else. Um, we'll be getting chicken soon. My husband wants a dog. We've got to get the garden going. We just have a lot of fun stuff coming up and I'm going to share as much as of it. Blah, blah, I can't talk. I'm going to be sharing as much of it as I can with you guys. So if you have any video request, um, let me know in the comments below and I will do my best to get that content out for you. This right here is a little book of worksheets that my grandmother who passed away last fall made me when I was much, much younger. It looks about kindergarten, first grade level. I'm just so glad I kept it. Look how old these worksheets are. I'm thinking maybe I can make copies of them and let the boys do them. There's just something different about the worksheets back when we were younger. I was born in 86 than the kids that are born now. They're just so different and I love them. I just love to look at them. Yeah, you got your cars. So, uh, we're not gonna have that TV in here. We're gonna get like a Roku TV to hang up on the wall and still gotta put their clothes up. Emptied like four boxes, feeling yeah, very watch. accomplished. You like uh, the playroom slash school room? Yep. Yep, now we just gotta I got the bulletin board and some decor. I really don't like how cluttered that looks, but I'll figure it out. For now, that's gonna have to do. And I'm gonna have all the rest of the homeschool stuff um, and the homeschool hutch. So I'm gonna work on that next. So that's going to conclude today's video. I'm gonna show you a quick before and after to see the progress that I've made. And I just want to thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and watching me unpack in our new home. And I hope you stay tuned for more. Be grateful. Give grace. God bless. Bye.